We've started to see a, a, a smattering of, of criminal violence uh, against participants of the, of the World Cup. Yesterday, uh, we saw in Johannesburg some foreign journalists were robbed in their hotel room by armed criminals uh, who took their wallets, their cash, and their passports. The concern for security in South Africa is very high. There are armed criminals throughout the country, all large cities and even in small towns in the countryside. The primary security concern facing travelers to South Africa for the World Cup is, is that from violent criminals who can be armed with uh, a variety of weapons, but including AK-47, assault rifles, machetes, pistols, you name it. There's been a rapid rise in the number of armed criminals in South Africa since 1994, and there has not been a commensurate rise in, in the South African police. Uh, in fact, the, the South African police are, are direly stretched to respond to the levels of crime that are occurring in the country. The World Cup is definitely uh, augmenting the threat of, of violence in the country uh, in addition to travelers who are arriving in South Africa to enjoy the World Cup, there are criminals who are also looking at the World Cup as a means to enrich themselves. Criminals from neighboring African countries, from African countries further away, such as Nigeria, also have an eye on taking advantage of, of uh, travelers to the World Cup. There's a high degree of, of violence in South Africa, and this is due uh, to, to a few reasons. One is, is the legacy of apartheid. And while South African, black South Africans now have control over their political destiny, their, the economy is still much under the control of, of white South Africans. There's just a, a high disparity between the haves and the have-nots.